than when we have a process of helping an individual go inward and come to their own learning, their own understanding, and come up with their own narrative of what is going on for them, and also finding their own own way to solve if it, it's a problem they need to solve, but finding that problem, that solution for themselves. So that's a lot more. It's a lot more empowering, and that's really what happened with Gambia. With the problem is you had three experts telling him how to solve this problem of hitting the ball square of the wicket when he was wanting to hit it straighter. Uh, and none of those worked. And then he turned to me for the answer, you know, expecting me then to give a fourth pearl of wisdom. And the three people had already offered wisdom were had far superior batting knowledge than what I had. So it was almost bizarre that Gotham should be asking me. Uh, but then I used, I turned back to a very, you know, the the essence of what coaching and business coaching is, was I asked him to come up with his understanding of what he felt was going on. And initially he said he didn't know what the problem was. Um, and each time he would get it right, he would say to me, what did I do? And I'd say to him, well, I'm, I'm noticing something different, but I don't know what it is exactly that I'm noticing. But it is different. And I kept asking him, so what is it that you're noticing? And he didn't know. And then he would get it wrong. He would say, okay, so I did something different there. What was it? And instead of telling him what I saw, I kept probing, asking, so what did you feel? What was your experience? Because there is something different. The outcome is different, so there must be a different set of inputs or processes. And I just kept probing and kept probing. And the, the tempting thing is to quickly jump in as a coach with a solution. One, I get to be seen to know what I'm talking about. And we quickly, we, we fast track that, that period of discomfort that Gotham was in because now he's all of a sudden got his answer. But I left him in the discomfort of searching for the answer. Keep searching, keep searching. It will come if you listen closely enough and you pay enough attention to what's going on for you in this moment. And he did come to the understanding of what was had actually changed. And his narrative was actually, you know, as I share in the book, the way he changed his um, his technique. It had not. He, he would just glance down at his feet twice, and that would help him hit the ball straight. Now. There is no technical batting technical connection between looking twice at your feet and hitting the ball square of the wicket versus straight to the wicket. But that was his narrative that he had come up with that helped his body knowledge or his body intelligence connect in with what works and what doesn't. And as it turned out, you know, that that certainly did help him improve his batting technique. But the important thing was it was his story that he had come up with and his story, it doesn't matter whether his story was right or wrong, but his story connected with the inner wisdom of his body. And that's certainly in a, in a lot of sports, a sport like batting, like bowling, there is so many muscles and nerves and neurons that need to fire in exactly the perfect sequence for everything to work right and it's actually not possible to go in and break that down into its component parts and come up with an explanation even though the world of science that we go through and um, coaching suggests that you can break a bowling or batting action down into its component parts it's actually not possible uh, the individual needs to actually it's it's something that happens at a much more complex and internal uh, knowledge um, and system that needs to happen. And I just, I guess I'd helped Gotham to plug into and understand and give language to, to what worked and what didn't work for himself.